In this video, we're going to make a simple drop down here where we can have the selected task being shown. As you can see here, we have a range of I do task number six. It shows here everything from task two to six. So let's start to explore this. So let's continue on, and this is part 14. We're going to create the drop down to filter or more specifically show the specific range of uh, tasks. So what I want to do here, first of all, is let's start to work on that. To do that, I'm just going to grab this design here. So we have some uh, borders, it's easier to spot and uh, put a separate section around it. So if I save that, refresh, there we are. If you from here down, I'm going to work on that. And what I want to do here is, first of all, I want to have a select, because basically it's just a select. We're going to select and have an ID on that. You can say here the ID will be the min task, which will be the minimum task. And this will be triggered on change. And then we say here, show task, but this function will, you will have to build still. So once we did that, we have the closing tag for the select and of course here the options. And in the options, we're going to say here value and value will be starting with index zero. So in value index zero, which is task number two. And then what we can do here, we copy this. Oh, sorry, not task number two, not task number one, of course. Here, number one, number two, and this will be number three. And I guess I'll just put in a few here. And you can continue on all the way to task number nine, but I think that would be not necessary for this video. So next, what I want to do is I want to have the same here, but for this, this will be the maximum task. And this could be as well from zero all the way up to number nine. But what I will do is I will say here nine. So this, if this is task nine, eight, seven, and then six. So this will be index number eight because we started index zero for task one. And this will be seven, six, and five. All right, so there we are. So once we save this, we have these drop downs here nicely. That looks beautiful. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure we have the function being triggered. So for the function, we have here this function called show task, which we already created above on the on change event. It will, once it changes, it will start to re respond. So what I want to do now is basically this. We want to go into the Y scale and get the index number here. This one here and just change that index number. So this will be very important, but often we might need to have it as a string value. So that will mean that we have the labels here, convert that into whatever index number this is and put that in here. So that's what we're going to do here. So what I'm going to say here, uh, for this one, we can say constant y skill to have a shorthand for the y skill is my chart dot config dot options dot scales dot y. So we have this one. So you can use it as a shorthand. Next, what I want to do is I want to get the minimum task and maximum task value. Say constant min task equals document dot get element by ID. And then we say here min task. And there we are. Constant, max task, same story. Just grab all of those. And maybe we could just grab the value as well. So let's say your max. Let's say your dot value to immediately extract the value of that element. So we have that one. And what I want to do, I realize that's what we have to do as well here above. When we have these items here, we should have a selected option. So what I will say here, the selected by default is zero. This is the selected. And for the selected here, Number nine selected is this one, that very last value. All right, so we have these. On change, the values will be transferred here down, and we have to make sure that this will read them correctly. So if I say here now, the Y scale equals, and basically what I want to do, as I indicated already, I want to go to the min value here. So we are on the Y, min, and since we already have the path towards it, the y scale, so we're going to say here, uh, y scale dot min equals what exactly? Well, in this case, we're going to put in here the y scale dot. Well, if we do this, so let me show you that uh, min task, or sorry, min task here. This, this will give us a value. You will see that this will not work very well. And if I do here the max, let's say here max task. Let me say here. Uh, my chart dot update to update the value save refresh so if I do this and I select here now number two 
what happens it just breaks it and the reason why it breaks it it doesn't understand here what's happening because the numbers are confusing because this is the value of one and this is the value of eight which is task nine so what we need to get is the array value as i indicated with the labels so what i need to do here we're going to grab this one here or are we going to say here uh the y scale dot labels and then we put in here the index number so we just add up here the index number so we get the string value instead of getting the official number uh, numeric value very important here because that will help us with the sorting out so if i do this now we should have here now if i do this oh it's here on change all right and then i have this one and maybe we should have here then a default non-value like please select something like that so we have this here and if i change this one as well to number six this works if we do this to number four this will work nicely and if we do this number two and here number eight there you are so this will work very nicely often and i'm not sure you see it here now now you won't notice it uh, sometimes you'll see that these values here above will stick uh, stick out well let's see if we can test them uh, are right, here at the bottom as well so we have to solve that one i will make the next video cover that specific issue but this is basically the way to have a drop down